Hi, welcome to Learning Monkey. I am Vikram. In this class, we'll try to understand referential integrity constraint and foreign keys. So the concept of domain constraint, key constraint and null value constraints has already been explained in our previous classes. If you haven't watched those videos, please watch those videos and come back here. And every video in our channel is going to be a part of entire course or a playlist. Our suggestion is to follow the entire course so that you can have better understanding of the concepts. And the link for the playlist is provided in the description below. Now let's try to understand the referential integrity constraint so far this constraint we haven't discussed anything about this constraint we will try to understand this in a, in a in a very detailed way a referential integrity constraint is specified between two relations and is used to maintain the consistency among the tuples in the two relations so far the constraints domain constraint key constraint and uh, null value constraint these constraint or uh, these constraints are applied on a single relation or a single table but the referential integrity constraint is always applied between two tables so this discussion we have already made so uh, this employee and the department table has been created in our previous videos we have created those uh, uh, tables but this relation has not been established so the discussion has already been made so this is a department table and uh, a, a referential integrity constraint is always maintained between two tables here this d number is referencing the values in this column or referencing the values in this column so in the column of this table so whenever such kind of references are made so that kind of constraint is what we call it as a referential integrity constraint uh, and this this referential integrity constraints are maintained to bring the consistency among the tuples in these two relations so what kind of consistency what kind of consistency is uh, here here the primary key for the employee table is ssn and uh, the primary key for d number is uh, sorry department is d number now what i will do is i will try to instant uh, insert an another row in this here uh, uh, the row is it is vikram and the uh, uh, SSN number is 1276 uh, male in the salary is 40,000 and I, I belong to department 2. Now is this insertion a valid or a consistent insertion? Try to think of it. Try to think of this insertion. So is this insertion that I have recently made so is it a consistent insertion no it is not a consistent insertion think of this value 2 this value 2 is there any department by name 2 is there any department by, by uh, department by number 2 there is no department 2 but we are trying to create we are trying to create an employee details who belongs to department number 2 without the department in the company how can an employee belong to an uh, uh, department whose number is 2 the department is not existing and we are trying to insert an employee into the department so is so does this kind of uh, insertions allowed so is it is it consistent way to allow this kind of insertions no it is not allowed so what we have to do is an attribute which is referencing the other attribute in another table so then there exists a relationship we have already discussed and uh, one more point to imp uh, important point to understand is uh, we are trying to establish a relationship between these two so the the attribute to which this attribute is referencing is always going to be a primary key because every attribute every tuple of this attribute uh, of this uh, uh, every tuple of this uh, uh, table should be uniquely identified so because these values are identifying this uh, tuple a tuple in this table that identification of a tuple can be uniquely made by the primary key which we have already discussed try to think of this point if if a, if an attribute is referencing another attribute in another table means that attribute should be a primary key 
otherwise there is no relationship and this referential integrity constraints are made by using foreign keys primary key we have seen foreign key so this is the foreign key in short we call it as fk why it is called as foreign key means this is the table this is the column which is referencing on a foreign table a table which does not belong to this uh, 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 a, a column which does not belong to this table understand this point so these referential integrity constraints are established by using foreign keys i'm i'm discussing this concept slowly because you have to digest that concept of referencing and maintaining the integrity among the tables the integrity among the tables is identified by this so this this example will bring the integrity if this if this if this row is accepted means there is no integrity among the tables and the data is not consistent it is same as that of file management system which we have discussed in our first videos try to get that point okay so that is what we call it as referential integrity constraints in our previous classes we have seen that relation this relationship has been seen uh, we have covered this concept but we haven't established this this relation has not been established we have created only these two tables but among between these two tables the relation has not been established in the next video we will try to create again create the tables with this foreign key with this integrity constraint by using this foreign key foreign key keyword by using that keyword we will try to establish the relationship okay uh, this is all about uh, uh, referential integrity constraints on foreign keys hope you got the clarity on this concept thanks for watching if you haven't subscribed to our channel please subscribe to our channel and press bell icon for the latest updates and if you have any doubts regarding this concept please post your doubt in the comment section below and if you feel that this video is helpful to you please give us a like symbol and please share this video with your friends so that they will also get benefited thanks for watching watching.